Due to Zeely and I did our video project on the Vacanti Mouse. The purpose of the Vacanti Mouse was not what most people think. Most people think that it was used for an actual ear transplant on a human, which it was not. It was actually made of cow cartilage cells, so the human body would actually reject it. It was merely for scientific advancement. The history behind the Vacanti Mouse, it was created in 1997 by Joseph Vacanti. The whole project began in 1989 when his brother Charles managed to grow a small piece of human cartilage on a biodegradable scaffold. The organisms involved are the nude mouse, which is just a hairless mouse. Um, his body was used for cartilage incubation. The other organism involved was the cow. Um, they just took his cartilage cells and they grew them. How does this alteration take place? First, the mouse was genetically altered to have an abnormally strong immune system. It was also bred to be hairless. A special ear mold was then created out of special fibers uh, that dissolved over time. It was a lot like dissolvable stitches. Um, then they removed cow cartilage cells and put them all over the mold where it started to grow. And they implanted it inside the mouse right under its skin where the mouse's blood nourished it and grew it and incubated it. As you can see in this picture, here's the mold right here. Um, as you can see, once they implanted it, it didn't look that much like an ear. And then eventually, as the cartilage began to grow, you can see it actually looking like an ear in the end. There were no restriction enzymes used in this one. Um, it wasn't really genetically altered. It was just implanted under the skin. Is this ethical? Um, it all goes back to animal experimentation. Some people say it's okay, but only if the animal is not in a lot of pain, like if it was put under anesthesia during any procedure, um, and also humans must benefit from it. Um, some people disagree with it. They say that it causes suffering to the animals, um, and it's there's no proven benefit to humans, and that there are other ways to do these experiments. How does it impact our society? The growth of the ear inside the mouse did not really um, impact our society directly. It just caused scientific advancement. Um, one day we hope to create prosthetics for wounded soldiers or people born with birth defects from fingers to ears, whatever. Um, an example would be a 12-year-old boy, Sean McCormick. He was born with Poland syndrome. So basically he had no bone or cartilage on his left chest. Um, his heart and lung were completely exposed other than his skin, so if anything hit that, that could do some serious damage. Um, the Vacanti brothers used the boy's own cartilage cells, and they grew a chest plate on a biodegradable mold like they did for the ear, and then they implanted it in the boy, and it began to grow. In my opinion, I think we should pursue the scientific advancement. Um, it didn't really hurt the mouse at all. It didn't care that it had an ear growing on its back. And as we know about that little boy, it can save someone's life.